Hey everyone, it's Theodore here, and today we had our final mock midterm before we have the real midterm, and everything went really well. I had really good karma when I was picking my times. Uh, the way that this works is we basically pull kind of like um, a piece of paper out of a hat, basically, and then that tells you what time you're presenting, and it can vary from an hour. So literally, like, I could be presenting almost an hour later than somebody else is. And the first time we had a mock midterm, I was the first one. So, of course, I was, like, flipping out. But everything went well, and I was on time, and all my food was good, so that was good. But this time, I picked the last one, and somebody didn't come today, so he's like, you have to pick again. And I was like, oh, my God, of course I'm going to end up being first. But I didn't. I was, like, second to last. Oh, I was, no, I'm sorry, I actually became last. So I had plenty of time to do my dishes, and I did the beef bourguignon again, and it was really good. He said it needed a little bit more salt this time, but, I mean, it's so funny. I, like, layer that salt in, and then, like, after a while, I just can't even tell. So I'll take his word for it. <laughs> um, but I got the pasta done and all that good stuff, and we also had to do a poached egg, and with hollandaise and these little like vegetables on the bottom and that went really well because if you've ever made hollandaise oops sorry i'm dropping things if you've ever made hollandaise you know it's kind of a finicky sauce to deal with but everything went really well it's it was a good consistency the flavor was right it's really funny because you put a little bit of cayenne in it but you're not supposed to see it I can't make that work. He didn't even notice that it was there, but I could see like a couple little flecks of the red within like the yellow gorgeous um, hollandaise sauce. And, but it went well. He liked the flavors. So that was good. I'm like so worn out today. Um, I got a lot of sleep. Do you ever like get too much sleep and you're just like, okay, I don't know what's going on. So I had a nap with the dog, so that was good. And now I have to write all the recipes. I think I have to write like six new recipes for um, tomorrow because now basically we don't know what we're going to do. He just tells us. So we have like a lot more recipes to sort of learn and then make tomorrow and like for the next four days and four class days. And then it's our final. So I think that our final like our midterm, I think that that is on Wednesday. And then I go to school Thursday, go to school Friday, and then Friday night we fly to Nashville. My mom and stepdad Chad moved to Nashville a couple months ago, and I've already been very briefly. My mom lost her cat, and so I went to go help her find it, and we ended up um, not finding it, but then it showed up the next day. So the cat is back. And I get to go to Nashville and actually, like, do fun stuff instead of traipse through the woods looking for a gray cat. Anyway, um, so, yeah, we'll cook. We'll get together. We'll have fun. My aunt's coming. Matt's mom's coming. We're just, like, having this random little moment. It's going to be really fun. Um, I just went off on a tangent, as I do. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a little comment so that I have somebody to talk to when I go on my lunch break because that's what I do. I kind of, like, retreat check out my phone and like reply to comments and all that good stuff. So I will talk to you tomorrow and I will let you know how day one of our brand new menu went. And don't forget to check out Secret Guide to Fabulous, which is on Logo 9, 8 central on Friday. So when you're watching this today, it's the first day. All right. So check it out. I'm putting a link in the description. Bye everyone.